everybody, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a historic theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about a brand new re-theme that's set to come into the two American Splash Mountain attractions at Walt Disney World in Florida and Disneyland in Anaheim, California. So, we're going to be talking about this re-theme of Splash Mountain. Uh, a couple of other, a few people, especially Disney enthusiasts, have already talked about this on YouTube. Theme Park World Rise released a video, so you know what? You know, it's, this is a theme park news channel primarily, so of course I've got to release a video. Um, make sure you go check out our other video from today from the Alton Towers Resort about their rumoured CD that's apparently set to be launching this evening, so uh, all form of soundtrack. So make sure you stay tuned uh, for more updates on that later tonight uh, on the community page and on Instagram. So for now, guys, please like the video if you love this. Please comment your thoughts and theories down below uh, about what you think, what your thoughts are to this, and of course what you think are going to happen in the inside bits please make sure you subscribe for more theme park news reviews and vlogs make sure you click the notification bell as well so you never miss any of that youtube content make sure you share the channel with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in as well as your shout outs and video suggestions use the hashtag question before or after your question and of course they will play a part in our subscriber q a when we hit 2000 subscribers i tell you what there's been a massive jump in subs over the last day or two so that's down to you guys, so thank you so, so much for that. And for now, guys, let's get into this theme park newsroom update. So Disney Parks blogs are reporting that today we are thrilled to share a first glimpse of a Project Imagineers that have been working since last year. Splash Mountain at both Disneyland Park in California and Magic Kingdom in Florida that will soon be completely reimagined. The theme is inspired by an all-time favourite animated Disney film, The Princess and the Frog. We pick up this story after the final kiss and join Princess Tiana and Louie on a musical adventure featuring some of the powerful music from the film as they prepare for their first ever Mardi Gras performance. Tiana is a modern, courageous and empowered woman who pursues her dreams and never loses sight of what's really important. It's a great story with a strong lead character set against the backdrop of New Orleans and the Louisiana Bayou. In 1966, Walt himself opened New Orleans Square when it became the first new land added to Disneyland Park. So it feels natural to link the story and the incredible music of the Princess and the Frog to our parks. The voice of Princess Tiana and Tony Award winning actress Anika Noni Rose said, It is exciting to know that Princess Tiana's presence in both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom will finally be fully realised. As passionate as I am about what we created, I know that fans are going to be over the moon. The Imagineers are giving us the Princess and the Frog Mardi Gras celebration we've been waiting for, and I'm here for it. The approach to retheming, or plussing attractions, as Walt Disney referred to it, begins with Imagineers asking the question, how can we build upon or elevate the experience and tell a fresh, relevant story? It's a continuous process that Imagineers are deeply passionate about, and with this, the long-standing history of updating attractions and adding new magic, the re-theming of Splash Mountain is of particular importance today. The new concept is inclusive, one that all our guests can connect with and be inspired by, and it speaks to the diversity of millions of people who visit our parks each year. As part of the creative development process, conceptual design work is well underway and Imagineers will soon be able to conduct preliminary reviews and develop a timeline for when the transformation can start to take shape. Stay tuned for more. So that, my friends, was an official Disney Park blog article on the Princess and the Frog reimagining of the Splash Mountain attractions at Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom and Disneyland in Anaheim, California, the original Disney Park. Now... I know that you guys are probably wanting me to talk about, oh, it's, you know, uh, the stuff with the song in the South, you know, played a part in this and this, that, the other. I'm not going to talk anything about Song of the South. I'm not going to reference it in any way possible because this is about the Princess and the Frog re-theme. This isn't anything political, this channel. This is about the new attraction. Um... And you know what? And to be fair, I've looked on the forums and I've looked what people are saying. And you know what? People actually make sense when they say that um, the the ride needed a re-theme or some kind of refresh for a good year or two now. It needed TLC work in places. And I think this ride is well overdue for a 
massive refurbishment. Obviously, Princess and the Frog is a great theme to go for. Not many people are fans of IPs, but of course, you know, Disney are pretty much an IP in itself. So, you know, Princess and the Frog, you know, with where the Splash Mountain sits, or uh, well, one of the Splash Mountain sits, um, in the in the original Disneyland park, um, I think that it was inevitable, especially with it's been so into the, in the New Orleans Square section of that park. So I think the Princess and the Frog was the more likely option, especially where the ride sits. Uh, from the concept art, it looks fantastic. I mean, you know, you might not be a fan of the retheme, you might want the old Splash Mountain to stay, but you know, be be real with me. The concept art looks fantastic and beautiful. And I think from the concept art alone, this could be the refresh the ride needed for a year or two now. And you know, I was, and, and you know, like I said, a few people have said that the retheme could be great and I think the theme could be fantastic. Like I said, I'm not going to reference Song of the South or anything to do with that. We're not political on this channel. We're about new attractions, new re-themes, new refurbishments. We're on about, you know, brand new attractions and re-themes of attractions that are going to excite guests from many different theme parks in the future across the world. And Princess and the Frog is a great re-theme for a classic Disney attraction. Obviously, you couldn't keep the original theme of Splash Mountain for long. You know, you could refresh it in some ways, of course. But, you know, if you wanted to do, incorporate one of your original stories into... Uh, one of your Disney stories or one of your modern Disney stories into the park, you know, if you're running out of space for things, then you've got to refurbish old attractions. And Splash Mountain has needed a retheme for a year or two now, from what I've seen over the past couple of years. So, you know, in places they need a TLC. And yes, you could have kept the Splash Mountain theme and you could have refurbished it quite a bit. However, I think that if it was to be a full retheme, which it will be now, uh, I think the Princess and the Frog is the right thing to go for. Now, I replied to a comment uh, on another video, I think, or somewhere else. Uh, either on Instagram or YouTube, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, it was yesterday, I can't remember yesterday, uh, <laughs> I finished a Carl in beer, uh, <laughs> um, but I do remember saying that one of the things I'd love to see in terms of indoor sections is a, like playing the music for friends on the other side, yes it's, you know, the, like I said, the story is continuing after the end of the film, so it's continuing as part of like an extension story, like you know, you know, like you see those Disney films, and then you get like a like a mini short story. Look at Pixar. Look at the um, look at the Toy Story, and you get these little Toy Story tunes afterwards, you know, after the film and that um, as a little mini series. It's kind of like that. Like, it's following on from the main story and it's creating its own sub-story to the end of the story to carry on the franchise with this brand new attraction. So, you know, you could include songs from the film, you know. So, one of my ideas was Friends on the Other Side, instrumental, or maybe vo vo like the original vocals as well. Um, obviously with, you know, Tiana, very excited, the actress playing Tiana, Anika, Nobby Rose, uh, very excited about this. Um, you know, that could... You know, confirm that her voice is in this, uh, and I think that other vo other actors' voices could be in on this. And I think that if you did instrumental or vocal of friends on the other side, one of my ideas for the one of the indoor scenes is to have um, like projection mapping of the magic, and it's like you're being transformed into the frog as you follow them on the adventure, and they get transformed back into a frog. Uh, so. You know, I think it's nice to have the friends on the other side, have some, like, really good lighting packages, um, great magic projection mapping, as you go through on the indoor section, then you come out and you get, like, an audio say, oh, no, we've been turned into frog again. Uh, we'll have to, you know, fight our way through the forest to get back to human life. Um, so I think there's a real opportunity creatively in terms of creative potential for a good story here. Uh, and from the sounds of it, they're going to have a great story with the first ever Mardi Gras celebration. So they're really tying it into the New Orleans, which I really, really like about this attraction. Uh, so there we go. So that is my news update on the Splash Mountain refurbishments at Magic Kingdom and Disneyland Park. Obviously, you know, people would have preferred it if it was just one park. So I think if I had to pick between the two, I would rather go with the Disneyland Park because of course it's in the uh, New Orleans Square section, but of course the Magic Kingdom part, that's going to be another different story, you know, what's going to happen to that section of Frontierland, you know is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad going to be rethemed as a phase two in a couple of years time or a few years time after uh, the Splash Mountain refurbishment opens is, is this going to be 
like uh, the end of front, not not really the end of Frontierland, but like the end of that section of Frontierland. Like transform that into a New Orleans uh, square. Uh, so there's still a lot of questions still unanswered. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get some answers. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom update. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coastal Shell, Kill in the Coastal Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.